What up, what up, this your boy S.I. Rico. I know it's been like six days since your boy haven't put up a video. Hey man, we in this corn tizzle. I have mixed emotions on, you know, is this stuff even really real? You know, I haven't heard no one to no one that caught this. And then my homie, his dad boss caught this. And I'm like, damn, like out of anybody that I do know, that's pretty close right there. So it's just a lot going on in this world, man. Um, me personally, I'm not saying people not getting sick, but I think there's most definitely other stuff up, you know, with this whole, this whole Rona, you see what I'm saying? The word that, you know, the word that's damn near illegal to say on Instagram and Facebook, but yeah, but that's not what this video is about. You know, I'm Dragon Balled up right now, you know, I'm on my... Kamehameha shit. <laughs> but hey, I hope everybody in good spirits, you know. What this video is about is these bad boys right here. The billet racing hinges by 310 racing. I've been running these before people even heard of them. But a lot of people used to ask me like, you know, damn dude, where you get those, those hinges from? You know, because everybody was on a K-Tune quick release hood hinges like now now check check me out if a company k tune or even three 310 racing if you can put the functionality of these mixed in and you can also quick release the hood Woo -hoo -hoo. 310 racing you see this k tune somebody come out with some hood pinch Hood pins. Somebody come out with some hood hinges that have the quick release functionality with the strut built into it. Say your boy Rico didn't just come up with something right now. Like awesome. But yeah, these are nice, dude. I, I love these hinges a lot. I remember when I first seen them, your boy was just scrolling through eBay. Hey, hold on before I continue. I have to say this out there. I gotta get this out there. If you don't shop on eBay, I don't know what's wrong with you. I, I can't talk for Amazon and other sites, but if you don't shop on eBay, bro, damn near this entire car, I bought all my parts off eBay. All name brand, but I bought all of them off, damn near off eBay. Everything from the Vibrant to the Turbo itself, that come from Real Street, but all off eBay. eBay is just a place where people can sell their stuff. eBay don't make parts. Yeah, there's a lot of cheap stuff on eBay, you know, but a lot of people will get, you know, eBay this, eBay that, eBay don't make car parts, man. So, but it's so widely spread around to the car community now, you just say eBay just for cheap parts, but that can mislead a lot of people. People was asking me, can you run these hinges with a carbon fiber hood. Well, when I bought mine, these right here, the hint, the, the shock, well, strut, whatever you want to call it, is so strong, it pushed my hood up right here and it cracked it. Like the my windshield. I got a crack right here because I didn't have the strut, the bottom strut right here adjusted. I had it pushed all the way back. And then when the hood popped up, hit my windshield and cracked it, bam. That's how I got this split right here. It's cool though because I have plans on replacing the windshield anyway because it's pitted. I don't have to replace that one too. And yeah, it's, it's funny because I want to put carpet, new carpet in this car. The carpet's already out of that car. I want to replace the windshield on this car and put a cage on it and do different things. But I also got to get this, this car, um... I have to get a, I have to get, <laughs> damn, I have to get a wheel alignment on this car. Now that everything is set, the brakes is cool. And, oh yeah, I have to finish bleeding, bleeding. I have to finish breaking the motor in because the motor is not broken in yet. But, oh, and I took, you know, some people with advice. I used to run my wires, my ground wires, like one here and one there. And it'd just be completely flat, but I like it like this too, just, you know, no wires exposed damn one time rolling down the street they're looking for that rona <laughs> but
but <clears throat> yeah guys love the i love the hinges some people always ask me can you run a you know carbon fiber hood when i bought my hinges at the time it was only these struts i just got informed that they have different how can i say different weight or different like you know a softer a softer shock one that's not so that's not so hard for carbon fiber hoods they really start getting popular because people start seeing them from me and then next thing you know hush performance start you know start rocking them and everybody start rocking them dude but yeah a lot of a lot of stuff be coming from me dude like this track spec hood vent this is for a z06 track spec hood vent right here This little hood mod, people wasn't doing this to their EF until they see me do it, bro. After I did this, I started seeing people put holes right here and then a, a full cutout. And I just released, you know, my little bumper, my little bumper mod I did for my radiator. I'm pretty sure someone gonna bite that too, but yeah. Under here, and it's a tunnel system. Let me, let me show you guys. Oh, we're not even gonna get on the situation with these. Cause I was running these before, <laughs> way before people even knew about them, bro. Way before they was even in the racing game at all. It's a closer look at the tunnel system. Let's plate it all around. Now, I know you guys is like, you know, for the people that been following me, y'all will know it's only this size because I had a Speed Factory radiator. And I got rid of it because I've been having overheating issues. Because the radiator just couldn't keep up. But eventually, I want to get this extended to match this size radiator. So, that's eventually what I'm going to do. Just get it cut. And then, you know, just probably put this plate that's right here, if I can get it out. Or they can just make a new one. But yeah, I'm going to get this extended. Or cut it like right here. And redo a whole nother box, like a separate box, so I can have access to that much more of the radiator. But it's going to be awesome though. And here's the inside of the bumper. Looks like that. Love it though. It's awesome. My little, my little tips and little, you know, little tricks. But yeah, you know, I hope you guys like it. But yeah, man, I have a lot of a lot of stuff. I run, I have a lot of stuff around in my car, dude. Way before people even or even knew they even existed. You know, I know people don't like to show love. I go, you know, or give credit. You know, who was running this stuff first because it really don't matter. But hey, I got a lot of stuff done to my car. If you go back to my past vids. You know, I go over this car a lot, but yeah, I got some pretty tight stuff. But so now what I'm going to do, I got the coolant bled. I got, I ran the, I had the water pump because this is an electric water pump by EMP, by Stuart EMP. I had this wire, the power wire connected to the distributor. So when I cut my car on, my water pump wasn't basically getting full power because it was basically splitting power. So I wanted the water pump to have its own power source so I could have the full power of the water pump. You see what I'm saying? Because I can hear it when I cut the car on, I can hear the water pump slow down. I didn't want that. I wanted my water pump to work the most efficient as it could. So I gave it its own power source, of course. So I ran a wire all the way through under the dash, bam, to the extra, extra fuse. So now that's working fine. Got the coolant bled. I didn't make a video of this, but yeah, I got the water lines ran from here all the way up and from the block to the turbo. So yeah, water lines is looking good. Turbo is happy. The engine got to get broken and get a wheel alignment and we can go to them, baby. That's it. I might even have Brent shit breaking in on a dyno because, you know, Brent's going to be the one tuning his car. My boy Brent from PFI. If you don't know him, go subscribe to my boy PFI. If you don't know who the PFI gang is, PFI Speed. Look at my boy Brent 
fucking one of the best tournaments in the world. And my boy Jamie gets down too. Don't get it fucked up. My boy Jamie tunes too. So, but much love to the whole fam over there. Can't wait to meet you guys. Can't wait. But, oh, big shout out to Cletus too. Cletus may not watch me. You know, he a big YouTuber. But much love to you, Cletus. Love your videos, man. Matter of fact, I guess I will talk about these too. The bumper quick releases, AKA quick latches. These right here are, there's like four type, um, four type of sets. You have these, then the ones that's on the hood, which is those is actually four bumpers. And then you have some that's actually four hoods, pretty big and you can lock them also. So these are originally for bumpers. They have ones that's for a hood that's way bigger. And then these little ones right here are actually for like cabinets. But I was like, hey, um, I'm gonna run these on my bumper and then run the ones for the bumper on my hood. These are so strong. I honestly believe you can get away with running these on your hood. They're so, they're so nice, dude. Like they're awesome. I love I love I love my car. It's it's amazing, dude. It's all the little stuff that I done to it. I don't drive it a lot. Like I rarely drive it. I drive that outside. This should usually just be in a garage, just getting parts put on it. But I love it, man. I love it. And when I do drive it, I'm gonna have the most fun in the world, bro. But you know, just something I just want to do a little video on. Everything is set up, everything is ready. Let me show you guys. Uh, let me see. Ah. That's how the fans coming on. And when you turn the key, when you turn the key to the ohm mode, my water pump cut on. So I can actually cool my car off. Let's say I was at like, you know, a drag strip. And I want to, you know, cool my car off between runs. I can do that with an electric water pump. That's the, the benefits. And under hood temps don't even exist with me, like at all. My boy Mike, is that him? Yeah, that is Mike. Check this out. My manifold is right there. I don't know if that's coming up there. There it is, look. My manifold is right there, so all the heat shoots directly out the hood. And we also have hood risers. So when I'm chilling next to somebody, this is what they see. Or if someone walk, walk next to my car, you can see hood hinge. Looks pretty dope. But these right here, these particular, I mean, this particular set, I will not run on a carbon fiber hood. If, if you're the type of person that like to just open your hood and just let it, you know, just let it go. I wouldn't do that because you might have an incident because the struts are so strong. You're cracking windshield. The, you know, the hinges are amazing. Have I had no problem, zero problems since I had them. Billet aluminum, shocks still nice. Haven't had no issues since I bought them. I love them. Do I recommend 310 billet racing hinges? Yeah, I do. Go get you a set. And you know, they probably changed a little, you know, some features on them since the last time I bought mine. So yeah, go pick you up a set. But once this little Rona stuff clear up, then I can talk to my boy Brent. I can tow it over there. But just wanted to give y'all a little, a nice bug. A little something something update you can say on the racks where I'm at. And yeah guys, can't wait till Brent tune it. Can't wait to meet the guys over there at PFI. It's gonna be amazing. This is your boy, SI Rico. I love y'all though. I appreciate every single one of y'all, trust me. But this is your boy SI Rico and I'm out. Peace!